What's going on guys? In this video, we are gonna be detailing a farm truck. It's a Chevy right behind me, never been detailed, and is used in the mud on a farm as a farm truck, and the outside is looking seriously rough. So I wanna take you guys from the disgusting before to the dramatic after and show you my whole process. So without wasting your time, let's get into it. Now before we do anything, I just want you guys to see the before of pretty much the whole outside, starting with the wheel well. You can see this is no small feat. It's gonna take some time because again, this is a farm truck and I mean literally a farm truck. I don't mean somebody uses it for just dirty jobs. I mean this is actually driven on about a 150 acre farm. That's its primary job. And again, it's never been detailed. So not only do you see the mud and the disgusting bugs, but even just the film that's on the car, this is going to take some time. I'm gonna start with pulling out all of the brush and the loose debris and trash that's in the bed because I'm there's, there's different things that you find, especially in farm trucks like nails. I don't wanna be blowing it all out into the driveway and possibly popping a tire. And so very literally, I'm just taking a dustpan and uh, some push broom to get up some of that stuff that's stuck, put it in a trash bag before I move on. After the majority of the brush and the loose debris is in the trash and gone, I'm gonna go ahead and blow out the rest of the obvious loose stuff with my pressure washer, and then I'm gonna be taking just some full strength, powerful degreaser, working it into the bed with a push broom brush to kind of get, again, some of that mud that is really difficult to get up and that really isn't even gonna come up with a pressure washer. Loosen that up with the chemical and use my pressure washer to continue to rinse the whole thing off. One of the things you might have seen is I actually had to turn my push broom upside down and use that hard plastic head to uh, more or less scrape up the mud that just wouldn't come off. And in some cases, you're gonna have some bed liner that's just stained and you're really gonna damage something if you take like a 5,000 PSI pressure washer to it to fix it perfectly. So there's gonna be some things that I'm actually just gonna leave that's more of a stain and not actually physical mud in the bed liner.
Now I'm gonna move on to the wheel wells, the wheels and the tires, but before I put any sort of chemical on any part of this part of the truck, I wanna get all of the heavy and the loose mud off of the wheel well. So I'm gonna go to all four of them, pressure wash them as best I can. One of the difficult areas here is inside of the lip um, on the very inside of the wheel well itself. You're gonna have to kind of contort your pressure washer to get inside of there so that the pressure of the water can uh, loosen all of that stuff and it kind of feels like there's just this endless mud supply almost because there is but fear not if you take the time it will come out Now that all of that loose mud is done away with, I can introduce my strong degreaser, a chemical, let it sit, dwell on the wheel, the wheel well, and the tire. And then I simply use my pressure washer and let the force of the pressure washer uh, knock anything else off, any film. I don't actually have to scrub anything. And guys, if you like this video and you wanna see more like this, definitely follow me on Instagram. It's wilson.auto.detailing. I post tons of chopped up videos just like this on Instagram where you can see these dramatic before and afters.
Next, I go ahead and move to the front, which is really just me dealing with the bugs. This kind of takes the brunt of everything on the road and everything on the farm. So I just wet it with my pressure washer very quickly. And then I'm actually using the same exact degreaser, which I'll link up in the YouTube description box below if you want to check out this product. I spray it all over the front and then just work it into these more cracks, crevices, difficult to reach places with a simple detailing brush. And then I'm going to very simply take my pressure washer and much like these other parts of the car, let the pressure from the water do the work for me. Before I start washing the outside, I am gonna do a last kind of Hail Mary pass with my pressure washer to get the uh, brunt of this film off of the car because when you wash a car that's this dirty and you don't pull this film off first, it ends up making your soap solution and even your clean bucket solution so dirty that you actually don't even clean at a very high level. You end up getting streaks on the car, there's places that you missed, and it's just very frustrating. So this this is me really focusing on preparation before I foam anything down. For my foam solution, I'm using Turtle Wax Ice Snow Foam just because I like the suds and I mixed it with uh, about a cup and a half of the degreaser because I want to put a strong cleaning agent in there for obvious reasons. So I'm simply going to foam down the whole truck and then take a microfiber towel that I use for outside jobs like this one. I wouldn't use it on a Corvette, but I do use it on a farm truck. Now, after cleaning this side, there were still some things that just weren't coming off, so I took Optimum Tar Remover and sprayed it on all the bottom rocker panels just to loosen that up, and the pressure washer is gonna do the rest for me. It's a really, really powerful product, which I'll link up in the description box below as well. And I'm actually gonna do the same thing to this side. I'm gonna take that Optimum Tar Remover before I foam it and spray it all over the paint, the rubbers, plastics, windows, let it sit for just a couple minutes, and then use my pressure washer to uh, remove that film and I'll bring you guys in a little bit closer so you can see how well it loosens up that film that's stuck to the white paint so that I can just simply take my pressure washer and wash that off so that I'm not dealing with any of that after I foam and wash it.
After everything is fully rinsed, and I actually did clay bar the car in between here, but it's not very exciting to watch and it just makes the video longer. So after claying it, I'm gonna go ahead and take my drying towel, dry off the entire car, bring it into the garage, blow dry it with a leaf blower before I move on to my final step. To bring the paint back to life just a little bit because this truck is going to get dirty again, but I want my customer to be excited about it. I'm taking my Rupees with a very soft finishing black spider pad and I'm using a uh, kind of Carnuba wax blend from Lithium Products because, well, I've never used it before and I just can't help myself. I have to try new products and I'm just using my Rupees to spread it around. I'm going to do that on the whole car, wipe it off, and then we'll come in for the finished look. So that's the whole process. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you'd like to see any of the tools and products that I use here at Wilson Auto Detailing, check out the YouTube description box below for a full list. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. If you are new here and you haven't yet hit the subscribe button, then go ahead and hit the big red subscribe button below this video and tap the bell so that you don't miss any of the future detailing videos. And as always from Luke here at Wilson Auto Detailing, keep working hard. and I I will see you guys in the next video.